Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today's another beautiful week to get us started here for physical science. All right, this week's a brand new unit. Uh, as we just finished up last week on waves, uh, this week we're going to be starting about energy. All right, uh, this is a good one. Um, this one's kind of a little bit different, though. This unit's a little bit different than the ones in the have in the past, but. Um, not too many announcements to kind of start us off with. Just a um, couple things real quick. Remember, you can make up any materials that you've missed. If you are just forgot something kind of, you know, long list of things to do and you forgot something, you can always go back and do it. Just email me, especially if it's something from a while ago. Please let me know because not everything sends me an alert that you finished it. And so it's kind of hard for me to always be like, checking assignments from two weeks ago every day to make sure that you are doing it. So please just send me a quick email. Just say like, you know, Mr. Richardson, I completed this assignment. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You're an awesome person. And thank you so much for being so great in this world. Just something real simple. All right. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started with you guys are going to be doing this week. All right. So first of all, here's your guys' page. Um, a lot of people are noticing, you know, like, the upcoming stuff, if you miss it, if you're absent or not absent, if you uh, just missed it for whatever reason, it doesn't show up there always. You still have to look on Schoology, look in your grades part and see which parts are missing. All right. So check your grades right here. I'm not going to click it because I'm looking at a student's position. Um, click it right here and you get your grades and you can see which parts are missing. You can do that for any subject. All right, so we still have our wave stuff here just in case you need to go back and check some of that stuff, but we have a brand new unit here. All right, which means if I have a brand new unit, I have a brand new textbook pages, and we started all the way back in the beginning, kind of starting it over again. All right, and I have a whole new energy on, energy online learning, or online learning assessment assignment list. Oh my gosh, I have to come up with a better name for these things. I can't even say them. Okay, so go and click on that. I like to put it out to a separate page. Um, one thing people, I don't know if you've noticed, but when I, maybe I've said this before or not, but when I made these, I made this assignment list like using check boxes. I highly recommend you print off this if you can, if you have the possibility, because then you can literally check off what you've done. All right. All right. This one's actually much shorter. Normally they're like a full page. This one's like three, two thirds of a page. And even the first bullet point, it's just making sure you're all caught up. It's literally just making sure you're all caught up. And it says, be sure you complete all the assignments in a WAVE online learning assi or assignment list, which it gives you a link back to it if you need to check it. Just check Schoology, check the WAVE folder, check your grades, see what it is. All right, then we're gonna be starting with energy. Now, <clears throat> for this unit, it's gonna kind of be a little bit, a little bit weird. It, it only, it, it, and the only fact that it's different is we're gonna be talking about energy and we're gonna have a different topic. This this unit has kind of two faces. We're going to talk about energy come strictly from a physics position, like what is happening to the molecules and how is energy transferred and kind of the physics-y definition. And then we're going to talk about how it applies in your actual house. All right. Um, we're going to talk about energy efficiency in the house. We're going to talk about energy conservation. We're going to talk about heating and cooling of a house and talk about the ener your energy bill and um, I guess what you would call is real life stuff, all right? Talk about, you know, different types of lighting. Well, you know, so for example, electric, we're going to talk about what is electrical energy, talk about Ohm's law, how voltage and current and resistance all relate to each other in a circuit. And then we're going to talk about how different types of light bulbs and how much money that costs you and potentially saves you. You pay more money up front for a LED light bulb, it's going to save you more money in the long run. And we're going to do those kinds of calculations and things like that. So that's just kind of a little familiar. So this first one's just a little introduction about what is energy and about potential energy, which can be a little tricky for some people. Although I think I like I, I like to think I did a decent job explaining it. You're going to be doing an ed, or doing uh, two ed puzzles this week. Um, you're going to be watching a lecture, um, and then. Um, then you guys are going to be doing this right here kind of starts our point where you're going to be talking about energy forms and how we get our energy uh chemical energy stored in coal turns into kinetic energy um you can take a schoology practice you can take a uh online quiz and then the last thing you're going to be doing for this week you can only be taking one quiz this week it's kind of both things combined the physics and the how you know energy conservation stuff 
energy efficiency stuff combined into one quiz. Um, so it's a little bit bigger. The last thing you're going to be doing this week is you're going to be having the family discussion about energy. Um, this is kind of a like very similar in the aspect of like when we did the family review session where you sit down that you're going to have to sit down with a family member. So I, you know, make sure you plan this ahead of time. Is there a time of day when your family member can be sit down with you and you're going to have a conversation and they're going to type up the response. So you need to kind of have it set up. You I click on or go to Schoology. It's on Schoology, right? Um, go back to Schoology here. Go to the materials page. Um, it's in the folder. You click on it, right? It's going to have all the information. It's going to tell you what to do. Here's the scenario. Here's the steps you need to do. The questions you guys need to talk about, and then they are going to type in summary of your guys's discussion it's just a way to get the family involved in i don't know if you know about some of this stuff i don't know if you know about the energy efficiency of your appliances um so just get a conversation going as we start talking about that so thank you parents and guardians ahead of time all right this is not a very long one i purposely did that to help you guys get caught up a little bit if you're all caught up then take it take this as a kind of an easy week to kind of mentally catch up a little bit on some of your work all right work a little bit harder on your english paper or i know you guys are some so a lot of the english is doing romeo and juliet which can be taxing um otherwise um you know just make sure you contact me do the very best you can miss you guys good luck may the science be with you